I'm going to show you how to stop jumping with the e-collar and you'll, you're going to hear a beep. Every time I hit the button, you'll hear a beep and that's just so you know what I'm doing with the e-collar. But I'm going to get Charlie all riled up. I'm also going to try and just um, add in some automatic sits and downs without saying the word but with e-collar pressure only. So I'll show you how to do that. Charlie, break. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Charlie, good boy. So I want to get him all riled up. Come on, Charlie. Good boy. Come on, Charlie. So he's not going to do it right now, no problem. Sorry, now. So I just hit the button at level one. That's how low we're at. At level one is really good. Try to break the boy. So right there, he jumps. You want to try and catch the jump before it happens, Charlie. Charlie, come. Good. So he automatically goes to down. Charlie, break the boy. Come on. Ready? So if you can catch him before he does it, that's key. Charlie, come. If you can't, you still are going to correct him for it. And then just turn him back off by putting him on place or put him in a down stay. Charlie, break. Yeah. Now I'm just going to hit the button, Charlie. So should I try? I'm hitting the button without giving a command. I basically want him to, I'm dialing up now. Up. So by hitting the button, he's just going to go, he's either going to go into a down stay where he is, or he'll move over to place, and that's just fine. So you don't always need a command. It's just a little tap, tap. When you hit this button, it's kind of like tapping him on the shoulder and reminding him to do something, and that's what he did. He turned off. Okay.